explain the 2013 BC election to me, because this is an example that constantly gets brought up for while you, for why you can't trust the pollsters. Adrian <laughs> Dix was supposed to be the premier. The BC NDP was supposed to win in this landslide. Turns out Christy Clark and the BC Liberals at the time, they end up winning. How did the pollsters get it so wrong? It was a combination of factors. You know, people changing their minds on the final day, uh, improper sampling in some cases. Uh, I made the best decision I could make, which was leave the company where I was. Um, it's an important situation because ultimately you look at what happened in that election as a gauge of what happens after. And, you know, 2017, we heard a lot of rumblings about how the polls were going to be wrong. I had a tie. It was a tie. 2020 was similar. You know, there's no way the NDP is going to climb to 48, 49, 50 percent of the vote. And they did. So, you know, to fixate on one election that happened 10 years ago, when the record of many polling firms, including my own, has been great when it comes to British po uh, BC politics back in 2017 and in 2020, uh, feels a little misguided. <laughs> <laughs>